Group G action in Riga, Latvia versus Bosnia. Bosnia, of course, thumped Latvia 4-1 in the reverse fixture back in September. They were heavy favourites to do something similar to Latvia in Riga. And they very close to opening the scoring after just three and a bit minutes. Shot fired over by Dzeko in the end. And then potentially the turning point in the early exchanges, a sending off a horror challenge. And it was the Skonto Riga man, Alexander Fertovs, who was sent off for an awful-looking studs-up challenge on Elve Ramic. Straight red, no question. And Bosnia presented with a real opportunity. It was Edin Dzeko, though, that fired over once again. And then Planic with a free kick as Bosnia looked for that all-important first goal in the first half. The opening 16, 17 minutes or so saw them in control, but they had to wait until the second half to break the deadlock. Bosnia taking the lead three minutes in to the second period. Senad Lulic with the goal, the Lazio midfielder. First international strike, he's been in good goal-scoring form for his club, netting the winner in the Coppa Italia against Roma. And he gave Bosnia the first goal of the game. Just five minutes later, Bosnia made it 2-0. Vedad Ibasevic with his 17th for his country and his 46th international. He scored 15 Bundesliga goals this season for Stuttgart. And he managed to double the advantage to put them in complete control with a smart header. Got even better ten minutes later. Arguably, pick of the goals of the evening. Harris Mendujanin with this fantastic hit from outside the penalty area. Fifth goal for the national side. Played his club football on loan in Turkey at Gaziantepspor last campaign. Been in and out of the national side. And may well be in for the next game, given the quality of this strike. Latvia have played four away games since their last fixture in Riga. Lost two, drew the other two on their travels. But on home territory here, there were no match for Bosnia. And Latvia conceded a fourth in the 80th minute. Milan Pjanic, who we saw go close in the first half, deservedly on the score sheet. Several near misses, in fact, over the course of the game. He made it four and really wrapped things up with another good strike from just inside the box. And a Bosnian win, of course, is never complete. Without a goal from Edin Dzeko, the Manchester City striker did manage to get his name on the score sheet. His eighth in qualifying. And the fifth, of course, for the visitors with seven minutes to play. Easy for Safet Susic's side, who remain in pole position to top the section. 5-0 on the night. 